Chef Daniel here, my wife Amanda. This is Soul to Soul Couples Connection, day 16. What is our song for the day? This one we're back to a faith song, and it's called The Way You Love Me. Yeah, so, oh, jump, <laughs> I didn't even forgot to let you do the song. So. It goes, if I could grant you one wish, I wish you could see the way you kiss. Ooh, I love watching you, baby, when you're driving me crazy. So, being with your spouse should make you feel uh, kind of a way, and by that, it should be a special, good kind of way. You should enjoy being together in that time together. Now, we know there's moments when you don't enjoy being together, but for the most part, there should be those times where you really enjoy spending time with each other. And I don't know about you, but there's just a special connection in our relationship. I mean, it's just kind of something we built over time. We've like been, been together quite a while, so we know each other, get each other, pretty much know what each other's thinking, make each other click, and the most important thing is like how to love each other. We figured that out. Um, we figured that out kind of in the beginning. Um, and it's what experts call or called like the love language. Um, so when you know how to love each other and you figure that out, I know how you like being loved and you know how I feel loved, then I mean that helps immensely. Yeah. I mean there's actually a test. Yeah. Anyway you can take and he answers some quick questions and you find out um, the way you prefer to give love and the way you receive love. Yeah, so like if, I mean, if she was speaking Spanish and I was speaking French, obviously we wouldn't understand each other and it'd be kind of confusing. So it's the same with the love languages. Even though we have different love languages, I have to speak her love language and she speaks my love language and that's what helps us to be able to understand each other and show each other uh, that we, we actually love them. If I was only doing my language, it wouldn't mean anything to him. Right. So I have to speak at his language. So it kind of brings about like a whole new opportunity and a world of loving each other. It kind of opens up. And there's an appreciation and satisfaction on both ends. I mean, you're feeling love, then you're also... When kind you of, feel love, you give love. You want to give love. So it's just kind of like an endless, endless cycle. cycle that you really want to be on. And so loving your spouse is important and it kind of opens up other things in your relationship when, when both people are feeling appreciated, loved, and cared for. So our challenge for you would be to learn the love language of your spouse, go take that test online, figure it out for them, and then for you, and then start practicing, whatever that may look like. It's a lot more fun to love each other when your spouse is right. getting it. Appreciate. And so there's actually five love languages. We were not going to tell you all five because you can check them out online, but what's your love language? Mine is quality time. So she likes my quality time, yeah. And mine is physical touch, and my number two would be quality time, so we kind of fit in with that. But So when I spend time with her, it makes her feel loved, and then when she comes and gives me that hug and kiss, I mean, then I feel loved. So we can do that more. <laughs> all right, here we go. What's that? How's it in? Um... Ooh, I love the way you love the way you love me. There's nowhere else I'd rather be. Ooh, to feel the way I feel with your arms around me. I only wish that you could see the way you love me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> the way you love me. Nice. That was awkward. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. So that's day 16, the way you love me. Learn your, love, your spouse's love language, and I can assure you that your relationship will be opened up and communication will be different. So this is Chaplain Daniel, Couples Connection, with my wife Amanda, day 16. Ooh,